I'm Doug Doyle with the art of the story. Linda Pearl has appeared in many television shows, movies, and on Broadway in her acting and singing career. Many remember her for playing Fonzie's girlfriend on Happy Days and working alongside legendary actor Andy Griffith as Ben Matlock's daughter in the hit show Matlock. Her most recent album is titled This Could Be the Start. Shadows in the night that poets found beguiling seemed flat as the noon light. Once I awoke at seven, hating the morning light. But now I awake in heaven. And all the worlds all right. Linda Pearl performed last night at 54 Below in New York City. What is it about jazz clubs that you enjoy performing? Oh, the audience. They're so smart. They're there because they're familiar. Well, my sort of bailiwick is the Great American Songbook in a jazz feel. So, but and I think I lean to that because they're actable. They they are one act plays for the most part. Um, they all have a, a character. They all have a story to tell. So um, that sort of I don't know gets my my yen. It's the difference really between doing something live and and in a studio because you're in it together for that hour and a half or whatever it's going to be, and uh, it, it's exciting. They energize the room. They inform the performance. I usually ask this type of question towards the end of an interview, but I'm going to ask it early for you. Okay. Okay. You get a chance to go back in time to a jazz club to see any performer, singer, mm -hmm. from the jazz world. Who would it be and why? Oh, what a fun question. Well, Blossom Deary, I would. How could I have missed her? I, I, I just I didn't know enough. I thought you were going to say today, and the person that I, I'm a groupie of is Kurt Elling. I mean... I just, come on, what is that? He just goes out to the stratosphere and you go right along with him. You know, Billie Holiday. Um, I mean, there's so many people. I did get to see Rosemary Clooney, who, uh, uh, this is name droppy, but she was a, a dear friend. So I got to see Rosemary quite a bit. And that was always such a joyful experience. No matter how large the house, you felt like you were sitting right beside her in her living room. Linda Pearl's concert tour continues in London and then Italy. You can see my entire interview with Linda Pearl on the WBGO Facebook page. I'm Doug Doyle, WBGO News.